This is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel. I have a few questions. I'm hoping some of you advanced builders out there might know the answer or might have ran into before. Uh, this is the latest incarnation of the VMG. You might notice that it's no longer just a shaft. It has an induction split phase AC motor in the center and it's being used as an induction generator. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, you probably don't have my answer. But anyway, this is acting as a generator as opposed to a motor. The pulse motor is on the outside, the generator is on the inside. I'm using AC caps to um, stimulate the induction. And basically what's happened here is these have been modified. They used to have a plastic, actually a Teflon, uh, I'm sorry, a nylon uh, hold across them. This is stainless steel 316L. So what I've done here to allow me to for the motor to go a lot faster is I've built a different system to cover these magnets. And the other change is the motor which is at the base which is acting as a generator. And since I've made these changes my amperage just climbs through the roof and basically it's the same VMG with those alterations. Now, I'm not sure if the problem lies in the amount of iron mass close to the coils. Some of my earlier experiments we tried covering the coils with steel and that caused the amperage to go up. So my thoughts are maybe because now the core has so much iron from the induction generator sitting at the center of this mass it's drawing away some of the energy. But the strange thing is that my controls is completely turned all the way down. The motor just screams off. Um, it's running 36 volts which I've been running all kinds of tests for many many hours at 36 volts and normally this control here would be at from 12 o'clock it would only be at 2 o'clock roughly so it would only be barely on and would be running about 2 amps um, able to charge batteries no problem uh, you can see some of the earlier videos and confirm what I'm talking about. But now, this is all the way down. And when you start it up, uh, I'm going to do a run here and I'll show you. It climbs up to 7, 8 amps. The speed is only about 7, 800 RPM. Um, and I'm really not sure why I'm getting these crazy ass readings. It's kind of baffling. Um, induction generator uh, works it starts to climb but because I'm only at 700 rpm and I have to over crank by 30 or 40 rpm over the sp speed rated on the AC motor which is 1700 rpms um, I'm not getting close to that without the amperage just climbing so high I'm afraid I'm gonna start blowing stuff up here so basically what I'm asking is if any of you have had experiences with with this kind of setup, is the stainless steel interfering with the magnets? Or is the core now drawing off some of the magnetic field and causing it to climb crazily out of, out of range? I checked the circuit. <coughs> I spent the last two days trying to determine what's going on and I'm kind of at a loss. So. I figured I'd throw this question out to the builders out there hoping that somebody has the answer.
basically the motor um, the induction generator when it's working properly this is running at 1780 rpm roughly um, it charges these AC caps. I'm using an electrolytic uh, jumper across the phase which these are standard AC uh, capacitors. The electrolytic for some reason allows that current to bleed off and to create the flow across the two phases it works great. I have another unit that I run tests on this works fine. Um, I'm able to make a couple hundred volts without a problem but this motor I can't get close to the speed because I'm getting these crazy amperage draws that uh, don't make a lot of sense and it's tied directly to the pulse motor running you shut it off the amperage dies instantly uh, so it can't be like a, a parasite draw from something um, so I'm really not sure what's going on I'm hoping somebody has an answer uh, this is Technomancer for zero point fuel signing out